Human beings have always had two types of language. We've had ordinary language, and ordinary language is what we use to talk about the weather and what's going to happen at the IU Minnesota game this afternoon. And the language we use to gossip about our neighbors, and, and we even use it to, to build buildings or split atoms or map DNA or send a rocket into space. Ordinary language. But there's a second kind of language that human beings have always had. And that's mythic language. Mythic language is the language we use to talk about that which can't be talked about. Mythic language is the language we use to talk about ultimate things and our relationship to that ultimate reality. We use mythic language. Last month, we went to Kankakee, Illinois, to my wife's Uncle Jerry's funeral. Now, Uncle Jerry was six foot four. He was a big guy. And, and there on the table was a little bitty canister of ashes. Now, what's the language that we use to talk about what is Uncle Jerry? We need some special language. When I think about where I was a hundred years ago, I need some special language. When I think about where I'm going to be a hundred years from now, I need some special language. When I think about all the intrusions of life upon my illusions of permanence, revealing again and again and again life's impermanence and the impermanence of everything, I need some special language. I need some special language when I encounter the rites of passage of life. Birth, kindergarten, graduating from the fourth grade, puberty, pimples, falling in love, kissing, sex, marriage, parenting, getting a job, getting a root canal, getting old, getting divorced, making money, losing money, gaining weight, losing weight, obsessions, compulsions, getting a terminal illness, dying, death. I need some special language. Because sometimes life is just too much. In fact, I experience that life is always too much. And ordinary language won't cut it. I need some special language. I need some mythic language. But we have a problem today. We have a problem because our mythic language doesn't work anymore. All of our mythic language today is based on a science that is at least 25,000 years old. And this was the science, of course, that um, everybody was, it was a flat, it was a flat world. Earth was flat and there were layers. There was up there and there was down here. And, and of course, um, the, the sun revolved around the Earth. 
but it's important to understand this was not some primitive tribal belief system. This was the science of the day. This was human beings doing the best they could do to use their rational intelligence to figure out um, what's what. That was the science of the day. Well, that's where all of our mythic language came from, both in the East and the West. It all came from that two-story thinking.